Hey everyone, welcome to my five-step training to teach women how to age stronger. So who am I? Well, I'm Tracy. I am an integrative health coach, personal trainer, and my focus is helping women age stronger. And that is because my parents are not aging stronger. They're aging in, in very bad sickness. My dad had a triple bypass in his 50s. My mom is 75 and has pretty bad Alzheimer's. Wait, she's 76 now. Just had a birthday. And it is sad. And they've been in multiple medications all their life. And it's just made me realize that guess what? We don't have to choose our genetic path. There is something called genetic expression and you can change your trajectory anytime. You're not too old and it's never too late. So this is my mission. I've raised my kids. I love my kids. And you know now I need a new passion to focus all my attention on. And guess what? It is you. So I'm also, I wrote a book, it's called No Freaking Way, and I just published it again in May, okay, because I repurposed it. It is now all about losing weight with keto, but it's all about feeding your body and your life with wonderful nourishing habits so that you can actually create whatever life you dream about, okay? It's not about deprivation, it's not about starvation or doing chronic cardio, okay? It's about fueling your body and aging in health. And it released at number one new release in Healthy Diets. I was pretty stoked. And I'm the host of the Be Well, Be Keto podcast. So if you hate bacon, you hate avocado, you hate burgers, you don't like cheese, then you know what? This presentation is probably not going to be for you, okay? Because I'm just going to spell it out the way it is, and I hope you like it. Now, everyone who comes to me, it's because they want to lose weight, right? Well, I'm going to show you how to burn off that belly fat for fuel, how to boost your energy and have high energy all day, every day, so you can be a high energy girl too. And I'm going to show you how to build a little muscle because if you are not getting stronger, you're getting weaker, okay? So look around you at all the people that you know who are aging, especially your mom, and decide if that's the path you want to go down, all right? Because like it or not, you're most likely going down it anyway, and that scares the crap out of me. I look at my mom with Alzheimer's and all kinds of issues, and I don't want to go that way. So that is why I'm 100% committed to helping myself age in strength and be strong instead of worrying about the weight on the scale. And I know that by focusing on feeding my body nourishing foods, by doing the right types of movements, that I am going to continue on the path that I'm on. And I want to inspire and help other women do the exact same thing. Okay? So let's get to it. This is titled, How to Burn Off Fat, Boost Energy, and Be Strong in 90 Days Without Going Hungry or Living in the Gym. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you and teach you a system that I use to lose 18 pounds of fat in about 90 days, give or take, okay? So, and during that time, I was able to improve my energy by not having these crazy blood sugar crashes, and I was able to be stronger. And now what I'm doing and inspired to teach other women do the exact same thing. So this is one of my clients, Margie. Now this was back in the day when I just used to do little group coaching programs for three short weeks. Now, Margie dropped nine, or eight and a half pounds and 17 and a quarter inches. She got a new lease on life and she felt better, like crazy. Isn't that amazing? In just three weeks. And this is Jen and she was able to do an amazing thing because she was actually able to lose five pounds of fat, three inches off her waist and two inches off her his, hips, <laughs> but she actually gained an inch in each bicep. So that really means that she lost more than five pounds of fat because if she's gaining muscle, but the scale only registered to five pounds, that's pretty cool, right? So I created this training for women, okay, who are professional and busy, they're over 50, and they're stressed out and tired of, you know, quick fixes, and they want something that's proven that they can drop that last 15 to 20 pounds in just 90 days and make a complete change in their life. Also, if you're just tired of jumping from one diet to another, I had a client phone call today that she was like, well, I tried this, and I tried that, and I tried this, and she just wants what I always say, a lasting lifestyle change. And she said those words, like, I need a new lifestyle. And that's what we want, is a lasting lifestyle change, not a quick fix, something that you're going to actually, you know, literally completely change the relationship with food. And you want to eat 
like satiating higher calorie foods so that you actually feel fuller longer and you don't have the dips in the blood sugar, okay? That blood sugar roller coaster is miserable. And that's why they created vending machines because they know that after you have the traditional um, American breakfast of a latte and a, a muffin from Starbucks, that you're gonna be hungry a couple hours later. And so that's why every company has vending machines, right? They wanna profit on that horrible blood sugar roller coaster. And, you know, when I was young, it was I was always guilty if I ate, you know, higher fat foods, right? Because it was bad for me. And so I'm going to teach you how you can eat higher calories, feed your body more foods that are going to nourish your cells, nourish your body, nourish your muscles, and you're going to still drop those fat pounds, okay? So this is my promise. I'm going to show you a blueprint for a cutting edge way that you will be eating. It will, you have to let go of all your past false dogmas that we've been fed for all these years, okay? And the moving thing. Like I'm gonna teach you a different way to move because let me tell you, I work at the gym and I see people day in and day out and nothing changes yet. They're still there every day. So what we're gonna do is teach you how to become a fat burning phenom, right? You're gonna burn that belly fat for fuel and because of that, you have plenty of energy to feel amazing all day long, okay? So it's gonna be about 20 minutes. So actually, it'd be helpful if you had a pen or pencil so you can take notes, or I guess if you like the video, you can rewatch it again, okay? So is this you? You've tried so many ways to lose weight that you become complacent, and you're just like, okay, well, this is the new me. This is 50, this is what I have to settle for, okay? No way, that's a lie. Your willpower is shot, so you give in every single weekend, and so every year you just get a little bit fatter, a little bit heavier. Now, I'm not here to body shame you. What I'm here to do is help you age stronger, okay? Because we know that when you have, when you're overweight, it actually is a precursor to more diseases, okay? And they actually said a couple years ago that obesity is now a new disease. Also, if you're just exhausted and stressed at the end of the workday and you like want to crash and hit the sheets at like seven, okay, that is not normal, all right? That is not normal. We need to be, you know, vibrant and alive and happy and healthy and joyful. I mean, I just got back from walking my dogs and I think I went out there like at 645, but I still have lots of energy and doing that type of thing actually me brings me up. It raises my vibration, getting out in nature and giving me more energy instead of just saying, oh, I need a nap. No. This is also you, maybe. <laughs> you see other people around you, they're doing this keto thing, and you're like, well, why are they having success and I'm not? So I talked to a client today with the exact same thing. Why is my husband losing weight and I'm not? Well, you know, there's different ways to do things, and women are different than men. I hope you know that. <laughs> okay, maybe you're tired of counting calories or points and still hungry all the time. That was me. I was like a Weight Watchers Lifetime member. I was always counting points, everything. That's all I cared about. And everything was low fat, non-fat, because it had less points, right? So I don't do that stuff anymore. Um, or maybe you're a cardio queen and you go to the gym and you do class after class after class. I know a gal who literally um, posted on my Facebook wall, she did six classes in one day. All right, your body knows it's smart and it will make up for that burn. It will say, uh-oh, here she goes again. And you know what? Your fluffy belly stays the same because I see people in classes that go day after day after day and you can't out train your fork, okay? Make note of that. Biceps are made in the gym, but abs are made in the kitchen. And maybe you have no predictable and consistent way to prevent a backslide on the weekend. All right, so we have tricks that we can do so that, you know, maybe you have like this, it's like you go up, like up, 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 down, up, 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 down. So we have ways to help you get through a weekend, have fun, enjoy wine, do your thing, but not fall off track, okay? I saved my carbs for wine. That's me. You're getting the raw, authentic, real Tracy here, okay? Um, or maybe you have achy joints, which are, is inflammation. Your sex drive is gone. I mean, you've been married for 25 years and you're like, okay, yeah, that's a thing of the past. And you just feel plain old. No energy, just dull. We want to spark our lives, right? Well, guess what? I have awesome news because if any of those things were you, well, guess what? That's not your real problem. Your real problem is you need to learn these five secrets and why you need to implement them in your life. I literally spoke to somebody yesterday who drinks one water bottle a day. 
that is not good. So now I'm working with her and I'm like, okay, today you're going to have two. We're going to baby step, step your way to success. Okay, so we're going to talk about my five secrets and they may be a secret, they may not be a secret, but guess what? If you implement them, they will work and they will totally change your path. Okay, so let's go. So today you're going to learn my secret number one is eat more fat. And cholesterol is your friend because cholesterol is the precursor hormone. Secret number two, lift heavy stuff. Ditch the chronic cardio. Your muscle in your body is going to keep you healthier, stronger, and burn more calories. Secret number three, sleep. It is not worth it. No matter what you have to do, no matter how long your to-do list is, do not skip your sleep. Secret number four, your subconscious mind rules your day. Okay, so we need to reprogram it. And that is what we're going to do because thoughts become things. And number five is hydrate. Okay, a gallon a day keeps the wrinkles away. And yes, I said a gallon. Okay, so we're going to go dive deeper <laughs> in these five topics really quick. All right. So secret number one, eat more fat. Fat is healing for your hormones and it is anti-inflammatory. All right. On the opposite end of the spectrum is sugar, or any type of carbohydrate breaks down into glucose, which is anti, which is inflammation, right? It's all over the place. So what we want to do is we want to eat more fat. I know. And it goes against everything that we grew up thinking, right? Because I was raised in the 70s and 80s. Actually, I guess I should say 80s. I went to high, graduated high school in 83. And we ate fat-free this, fat-free that. And it didn't matter how many fat-free entomans you ate because they weren't going to make you fat because there was no fat in them, right? Well, that is a big bunch of BS. That's a lie. So oatmeal and rice cakes, those are the foods I used to eat all the time. They are not going to make you lean. They are a problem. And here's the proof. So this map is on the CDC website, which is the Center for Disease Control. And you will see in 1990, the country is roughly, you know, 10%-ish fat, okay, or obese, I should say. And then you fast forward to the year 2000, so just 10 years later. And now the country is about 20% fat. And then 10 years later, look at those numbers, you guys. The country literally is about 25, 30% fat. That sucks, all right? So I guess the low-fat craze was a bunch of BS. It didn't work. Americans just got fatter, and food manufacturing companies, companies, they just got richer, okay? Their wallets got fatter at your expense, at our expense. It's ridiculous. So the secret is eating healthy fat, all right? Not all fats created equal, like avocados and egg yolks and olive oil and coconut oil and grass-fed beef and all that are healthy fats, okay? So fat is your precursor of hormone production. What that means is cholesterol makes pregnenolone, and pregnenolone makes um, progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, and DHEA. And those are your sex hormones. And we all know that we want more of those, right? Just to keep our husbands happy and off our back. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and it also helps with vitamin D absorption, which is your happy vitamin. So we have fat-soluble vitamins that without enough fat in our body, we will not be absorbing those vitamins. And vitamin D is super important. Even people in California become vitamin D deficient, and it leads to a host of diseases. And fat makes you fuller longer, okay? So I eat things like I love avocado. I put coconut oil in my coffee. Um, gosh, I eat... What do I eat? A lot of grass-fed beef with salads with full fat dressing. Back in the day, I used to put, you know, fat-free dressing or just like vinegar and pepper and salt and things like that to make it taste good. But no more. I eat olive oil and avocado oil and good, healthy fat dressings. Now, when you ditch the carbs and you boost your fat, you're going to create ketones in your body. So essentially, when, when there's no glucose for your body to burn for fuel, your body's going to take the fat, both ingested and stored on your body, and turn it into ketones, which is a cleaner source of energy, and actually your brain loves it. So most people I interview for my podcast, they're like, oh, the mental clarity, the brain fog is lifted, I feel so much better, and I have so much more energy because you're not doing your energy crashes. Because when your body's hungry and your body needs fuel, it just goes, oh, I'm going to munch away at some of that belly fat, okay, and turn into ketones so that I can have more energy. Isn't that brilliant? 
I think it's so cool. And so it also keeps your blood sugar stable. So you can go hours and hours and hours and hours. Now, back in the day, I used to do three small meals and three small snacks. So every day, I'd eat at 7, 10, 1, 4, 7, 10. And, you know, I'd have protein, carbs at every meal. And it was crazy because I was always hungry. I couldn't wait. I'd watch the clock and I'd just go, oh my gosh, is it almost 10? I need food. No more. Now, carbs are inflammatory because, like I said earlier, they all break down and metabolize down into glucose, which essentially is sugar, okay? And we all know, you know, that sugar is inflammation. It creates, it's very inflammatory. And it causes insulin spikes in your, so your blood sugar comes up, your pancreas goes, oh crap, I hate high blood sugar. So it releases insulin and that drives that sugar into your cells to be used as energy. Well, over time, your body gets immune to the insulin and it goes, uh-oh, what is she doing again? And now the leftover insulin, whatever's not left and to drive into the cells, now gets stored around your waist as fat. Yuck, right? So the blood sugar roller coaster, we all know, we've all had those big valleys in blood sugar or you've had too much and your heart's racing. Either way, if you're too high or too low, you're miserable. So when you eat fat, okay, and you, and you ditch your carbs, you will go into ketosis, which means that you are able to literally burn your belly fat off for fuel and your booty fat and your thigh fat and whatever fat you want to get rid of, okay? Um, and you're going to have a complete boost in energy. So secret number two, lift heavy stuff. Now, Back in the day, we were raised in the cardio revolution, right? Kenneth Cooper and, you know, Jane Fonda and high impact aerobics and shin splints and patellar tendonitis and, oh wait, <laughs> that's what happened to me. I remember when I was in college, I was so addicted to high impact aerobics that I actually would take Advil before a class like an hour before and about two hours later, I'd be dying, okay? But during that hour, I was grooving on and I was having fun and I thought I was doing great things for my body. Well, it's not true. It's a big fat lie. Ha, pardon the pun. <laughs> um, anyway, so I used to have this joke. I, I did this wellness game show and I had this question, what weighs more, a pound of muscle or a pound of fat? And so many people always tell me now still that muscle weighs more than weight. Muscle weigh, you know, anyways, they both weigh a pound, okay? So it doesn't matter. But the difference is muscle takes up less space in your clothes, okay? So that's good. And it reshapes your body. So you're not like what we call skinny fat. You don't just have, you know, you're thin, but you're mushy, right? We don't want that. That's not sexy. So what muscle does, it reshapes your body. It creates strong bones. And best of all, okay, it creates a strong mind. Whenever I leave the gym, I feel like kicking ass. Like I just feel empowered that I can take on whatever anybody brings me. So, you know, back in the day, or still some people do this, they want to get their... Um, steps on Fitbit. And it used to be 10,000. And then people started saying, well, I'm going to get 20,000. If 10,000 is good, 20,000 must be better, right? But guess what? Their weight is the same. So I guess it's not working. That chronic cardio is not working. And you know who invented the 10,000 steps thing? Some marketer, right? And I guess it stuck because people talk about it still. So the secret is lifting heavy and HIT, which is high intensity interval training, which I'll talk about in a minute. So we want to create muscle, and your heart is a muscle, okay? But we want to shape our body and create strong bones and a strong mind. Now, it's very difficult to create a strong mind because let's face it, we have layers and layers of stuff that we've experienced throughout the years. And so it's like peeling the layers of the onion. It is subjective. It is not direct. But if you create a strong body, guess what? One of the results is a strong mind. Like I said earlier, I walk out of the gym and I just feel like, jack, like, yes, and especially when I teach you how to train and how to follow your program, it's pretty darn cool. So HIT is a way better form of cardio. And, you know, back in the day, we used to do fat burning cardio where you sit on the bike and you go the same like pace and, you know, you just stay at that pace or you jog, you know, you're doing six miles and you're doing an hour and it's all the same pace. You know, we're burning fat. Well, guess what? That's a bunch of BS. So HIT, on the other hand, is you go way up high and then you recover and then way up high and then you recover. And that is actually going to take your metabolism and it's going to put it in the stratosphere and carry it out throughout most of the rest of the day. All right. So guess what? That one's better because once you're done with that hour of, 
of lists. It's called low intensity steady state. Like you're jogging or you're spinning on the bike, you're done, right? That fat burning does not continue the rest of the day. So hit is much better. And it works your heart harder because let's face it, sprinting is harder than jogging. Okay, so it stresses your heart, which makes it stronger. And it, the goal is to recover faster. And the shape, like I said earlier, shape is cool. Don't you want to rock that tank top and have those nice, you know, shoulders and biceps and lose the back wings? Let's like build that muscle and fill up that saggy skin with healthy, you know, fat burning tissue in your body, okay? You're not too old and it's never too late to start lifting. Now, the, this is Willie Murphy. I think she is so cool, okay? So she started lifting weights when she was 73 years old. She walks into our local YMCA in Rochester, New York, and she sees a sign on the wall and it says weightlifting competition. So she says to the kid, she goes, hey, can I do that? And he's like, go for it, granny. So she starts with five-pound dumbbells. Well, guess what? Fast forward four years later at 77, she weighs 110 pounds and she can deadlift 220. Isn't that like crazy good? Oh, I forgot to show the slide. <laughs> she is pretty awesome. I just, she inspires me all the time. So the result of lifting heavy is you can look hot in all your clothes, okay? Whether you're wearing yoga pants, jeans, or a bikini, or a tank top, but it's going to reshape your body, all right? Plus, it's going to make your metabolism burn at a higher rate all day long. So you're going to require more calories just sleeping to maintain that muscle. Okay, all good stuff. Speaking of sleep, number three. So sleep is important. Make it a priority. I know you're busy. I know you have a huge to-do list and maybe you have dishes in the sink that you have to do or your desk is a mess. Trust me, it's okay. You need to decide what time is you're gonna get ready for bed, all right? And you wanna backtrack. What time do you have to get up and backtrack, backtrack from there and make sure that you at least turn out your lights seven hours um, prior. So you at least get seven hours, okay? Minimum. And there's ways to get juicier sleep and not, okay? Because staying up late destroys your metabolism. I mean, if you had to stay up late with that, you know, you might think twice, but I don't know. I still say go to bed. Now, lack of sleep is going to mess up hormones big time because cortisol and insulin are your fat storage stress hormones. And they go up with lack of sleep. HGH, which is your human growth hormone, it is the fountain of youth that goes down with lack of sleep. And leptin and ghrelin are your hunger hormones and they also go down. Now, if I could just say the word hormone. <laughs> so the secret is deep sleep, okay? Now, HGH is human growth hormone. It diminishes with age. But if you go to bed on an empty stomach, okay, and you are in a nice, deep, juicy sleep for lots of time, your body will actually produce more HGH, which is good, right? Leptin and ghrelin. So leptin is your, your full hormone. It tells your body, oh, okay, I've had enough to eat. I can stop now. And ghrelin, I always say growling, so you can remember which one that is, that's your appetite control. So it tells you when you're hungry because so many of us eat just because of the time, right? Oh, it's lunchtime. I got to go take lunch. Well, you know what? You need to retrain that because it's really important. So often we eat for the wrong reasons. Like we're stressed or we're bored or we're lonely or we're tired and we just think that we need to eat. Now, it's funny because I've retrained my hormones throughout the years and one of my coworkers, she's like, um, my stomach was growling in a meeting and she's like, I said, oh, did you hear that? She's like, what am I, deaf? <laughs> So that's what we want. We want to re we want to regulate our appetite, and oftentimes those hormones get all wonky, and we lose um, sight of them. And insulin and cortisol. Okay, you guys have heard stress. Your cortisol is your stress hormone. So you want to sleep more so that these. Um, Hormones go down, okay? Insulin and cortisol will go down. Now, the sweet spot of sleep is between 11 and 3. I interviewed Dr. Nasher Winters, who is an amazing cancer doctor, and she said that in order to prevent cancer, that is your sweet spot. That is when your body does all these awesome metabolic things that are going to slough off damaged and bad cells, okay? So you want to go to bed way before 10, or way before 11, so that you're in that sleep spot, okay, of a deep sleep. Now, deep sleep is going to, the result is getting you leaner, stronger, and more energized, okay? So don't slough it off anymore, please. 
Secret number four, reprogram your subconscious. Now your subconscious mind is responsible for between 90 and 95% of all your awareness, okay? So your conscious mind is your thinking mind. Your subconscious mind rules the roost and is your like emotional mind, okay? So it does a lot of the choices for you. So you need to learn how to reprogram it. Now, if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. Something's gotta stop. The buck stops here and it all starts in the gray matter, all right? So you need to reprogram. And temporary solutions are not going to provide you with lasting lifestyle changes. They never do. They're a quick fix. And what we need to do is we need to step in to the self that we wanna create. Because there was a book that was written by a plastic surgeon and what he realized in doing all the surgeries for people is that if they could not visualize them in the state that they were thinking that that surgery was going to prepare for them, they were not gonna have a happier life. So they come to them, say two girls come for a nose job. One girl has the self-esteem and knows that it's gonna make her life better. She already has the confidence. She already believes in herself, okay? So that nose job really does give her a happier life. She feels more confident. She's more self-assured. Now you have another person who has the same nose job and they don't have that confidence. They don't have that programmed mind that they can step into and believe in themselves, okay? So that's the important thing is believing in yourself. Same thing with people that get gastric bypass and different surgeries like that. They haven't fixed the root cause of what got them to the place in the first place. So that's why oftentimes they've gained their weight back and it just is heartbreaking. So the secret is reprogramming your subconscious mind so that you can look at life as half full and focus on what you want instead of half empty and attract what you don't want. Super, super important, okay? So if you don't know where you're going, you may end up in the wrong place. You must set your intention and set your goals, okay? And don't focus on what you don't want. Like don't say, I don't want to overeat. Say, I want to only eat healthy things. So your subconscious mind is not discerning. It doesn't know, it doesn't understand when you say, I don't want this or you know that. So it's only here's what you're saying, Okay. The other thing you're going to do is create your vision. You want to create a vision in real time as if you're already living it. Okay. So that you can step into that and your subconscious mind that is not discerning goes, oh, this is the reality in my life. And this is what I need to step into. And that is what's going to happen. All right. So you want to write your vision in real time a year away from now as if you're already living it and new habits, so it's one baby step at a time. Like I said earlier, my new client, I said, okay, yesterday you drank one water bottle, today you're gonna drink two. Do not go to bed until you drink two. And so we wanna focus on one good, healthy habit at a time until it becomes a ritual, like brushing your teeth. At least I hope that's a ritual for you. Okay, so healthy thoughts equal healthy choices, okay? So feed your mind, good juju, so that you can have a healthier life. And the last secret, which I probably don't need to preach to you, you probably already know, but I'm going to encourage you. So you want to drink more water. I always say a gallon a day because it helps you with so many awesome things. And I actually just made a video that um, I'll show you that that shows you how to actually do that. So your body is 60% water, yet most people are chronically dehydrated. If you feel thirsty, it's too late, you're dehydrated, okay? So you want to prep for that by just drinking water. And sometimes when you think you're hungry, you're actually thirsty, okay? So drinking some water ahead of time is a good thing. So check this out, dehydration, <laughs> dehydration shows up in your face first. Yep, so that's important. We wanna plump up that saggy skin and smooth out those wrinkles by filling those cells with lots and lots of water. So the secret is a gallon a day, all right? And you don't want plastic water bottles. One of my new clients, I'm like, okay, get rid of that plastic. And the funniest thing is that she knew I was gonna say it before I said it, because we were talking about water. I said, what, what is your water bottle made of? What kind of water bottle do you have? And she's like, oh my gosh, you're gonna tell me to eat to get rid of it, because I'm like, is it glass? Is it stainless steel? <laughs> it's pretty funny. So when you drink more water, it actually will help you eliminate. It will help you go poop, right? And that is something we want. We want to be able to have regular bowel movements, get all that fat and all that junk out of you. We also, our cells need water. They need water so that they can do all the things that cells do, renew and divide and be healthy, right? We don't want damaged cells and they need to be able to do really good enzymatic activity. And 
drinking water will energize you because when you're dehydrated, your energy is going to plummet. It's super important. And when you ditch the carbs, you will be dumping some water. So you also need electrolytes. That's sodium, magnesium, and potassium. I actually have a recipe for ketolite. So if you want it, let me know. <laughs> and better energy and eliminate fat, okay? So you're gonna feel better, you're gonna have more energy with that water, you're gonna flush out that fat, okay, because you're gonna be drinking and urinating it out and pooping it out and just getting all that fat out of you, which is gonna create a lean, strong body. And that's what we want. Don't we all wanna look like that girl right there? Just be strong. So today I promised this blueprint, okay? So I gave you the five secrets, and I know they're rudimentary, but if you think about them, so many of you, I bet, are not doing those, and now you have reasons why, right? So you wanna eat more fat because it's gonna help you with your hormone production and to bring in vitamin D and put you into ketosis and give you more, more energy and mental clarity. You wanna lift heavy stuff so that you boost your metabolism, you shape your body, you build stronger bones. You wanna sleep more because that's when all the work you do all day gets all stitched together so that you can create a healthier body. And you want to reprogram your subconscious because every choice you make starts here, okay? Your subconscious mind is the one that gives you the idea that, oh, you walk by a donut and it says, oh, eat me. That's not your conscious mind. Your conscious mind's like, no, I'm a fit, healthy girl. I'm not gonna eat a donut. And your subconscious mind goes, oh, yes, you are. <laughs> so you wanna reprogram that and water. Water is the fountain of life, okay? It is the elixir to life and you want to drink more water. You can drink sparkling water. I make it at home myself. You can drink herbal teas. You can drink... You know, regular water, you can do infused water with um, cucumber, or you can do um, strawberries or anything, but just drink your water, okay? Because you're going to have more energy, you're going to age stronger and leaner, and you're going to just feel super awesome. All right, so let me ask you a question. Do you feel like I just soaked you with a fire hose? I know I'm talking fast because I'm trying to keep this in under 20 minutes, and I feel like I have so much information to share with you, okay? But this was just getting, it wasn't a deep dive. It was just kind of a surface thing. So you have two choices, okay? You can take all that information and go back to life as usual and try to figure all this out on your own, which I'm sure you can because you're probably pretty smart. But maybe you've been trying to figure this out on your own for a long time and you're still where you started, you know, maybe a year ago, okay? Or maybe you want to work with me and get that full map and support to carry you through the minefield. So let's make today, this moment, your defining moment, okay? So look back to where you were a year ago and look at where you're at now and follow that trend. Do you like what you see? If not, if you don't like the direction you're headed, then something's got to change. If you've been tired and you're like, okay, I'm just sick and tired of not feeling well. I'm sick and tired of letting food and emotions and everybody else around me control the way I feel. Maybe it's time for you to take the reins and live your best life and it's time for you to win. And guess what? You are the one who has a control. You are the one who chooses everything or you're the one who's responsible for everything you do, everything you don't do and every way you respond to what is done to you. So why not take action right now? Why not be one of the testimonials in my next workshop by taking control of your life like my other clients do, okay? The time is now, don't wait. Because I know you wanna be leaner and stronger and when you work with me, okay, I'm gonna help you get across that finish line, okay? Because I have worked with other people and I know that I can help you too. So here's the chance, you, you have a perfect opportunity that I want to do a transformation session with you, okay? So I've set aside set aside some time to talk with you and it's about an hour that we're going to have this clarity call, okay? Which I'm going to help you tap into your subconscious and decide if you're ready to take it to the next step, if there's something more inside of you that you want to actually bring to reality, okay? So we talk about subconscious and to see what your goals are and if you're really ready to take life on and make the next year your best year yet, okay? So if you want to build out this blueprint together, all you need to do is apply for a transformation session, okay? There's a little application you need to fill out just so I can kind of get to know you a little bit better. And then if it's a good fit for us, I'll make the invitation for you to work for me. If not, I'll probably refer you out to someone else that I think can help you. Um, but I definitely don't want this time to go unnoticed. I don't want time to pass anymore and for you not to be where you want to be, all right? My mission is to help women age stronger. If you're one of those women who I can help, great. If not, I'm sure that you can be listening 
listening to my podcast, follow my videos, look at my blog post, and there's other ways that I can, you know, hopefully make a difference in your life. So here's what you're going to do next. So send me an email, um, tracy at highenergygirl.com, or you can, you know, text me on social or message me on social. Either way, just say burn fat, that you want to burn fat. Okay, or I think there might be a link below that you can click and apply right down there. Just fill out your name and email. That's going to subscribe you to my newsletter list. Just telling you, we're going to get a bunch of tips on um, raising your energy. And I promise you that I'm going to get right back to you when I um, get your application. Okay, I will give you a quick call. We'll talk to for 10 minutes. And if I feel like it's good timing for you, then we'll do the full hour. Okay, I just don't want to waste your time. So we start with just a quick little 10 minutes. Okay. And then if that all works out, we'll agree on a time that works to do your one-hour transformation call, and hopefully we're a good fit, and we can work together and lock arms. And one person at a time, we can start changing lives and changing the directory and the health of women around us. So thank you so much for listening. I really hope that you get in touch with me, and I really hope that I can help you make a difference and age stronger, feel younger, and just have an amazing rest of your life.